What you just heard and saw was a hidden feature within Serato DJ, and today I'm going to show you how it's done. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And what you just heard at the beginning was called a transifier. A transifier is an Easter egg within Serato DJ. So this is an unsupported, non-official, hidden feature baked into the code of the software that only a few DJs know about. Now what a transifier does is it will loop track and then automatically half that loop until you end up with a very, very fine loop, which ends up resulting in a, a tone sound. So what you can do is you can get really creative with this tone, you can apply different effects to it as you're breaking it down and you can use that to transition from song to song. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it in the example you heard at the beginning. So the first thing we need to do is identify when we want to use the transifier. The transifier, as I said, will take a loop and have it automatically for you. So it works really well on drops and also on strong beats as well. So I've found two songs that I want to transition between and I'm going to use the transifier on deck one, which is Bounce That by Ethan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify a vocal break just before the drop where I want to apply the transifier. And then moving into the second track, I've also identified another vocal break just before another drop where I'm actually going to press play there and then build into the drop. The thing to remember about the transifier is as soon as you activate it, it will do a one beat loop and half it straight away and half it and half it and half it. So this really does act quite quickly. So in my example, I don't want it to happen straight away. I want to actually apply a two beat loop myself so I can play the vocal drop more than once and then I'll start using the transfire to half that loop. So what I'm gonna do with my first step is get the track playing and apply a two beat loop on the part that I want to play for a little bit longer than the transfer. <laughs> So now I have my two beat loop on that vocal drop that I want to loop a couple of times. Now it's all about the timing and applying the transifier. The transifier is a hidden secret shortcut in Serato DJ, works in Serato DJ Pro and Serato DJ Lite, and you will not find this in the user manual or on any help guides. But to apply the transifier, you need to press Alt and T for the left hand deck, or Alt and G for the right hand deck. Alternatively on Mac, it's Option T and Option G. Unfortunately, the transfer, as it's not a supported feature, you know, it is an Easter egg, quantize doesn't apply here. So you need to be good with your timing, otherwise you'll find the transfer can jump you out of your auto loop and start applying the transfer outside of the loop. So practice around with your timing with this trick. It is a bit difficult at times to get used to, but a little bit of practice and you'll learn how to master this, no problem. So as you just heard, when you apply transfer, it will apply one beat loop, half it, half it, half it again, all the way until you've got barely an audible note. So this does go quite far, all the way to the point where you can't hear it. So we want to transition out before we get to that point. So what we're gonna do is we could either apply an effect such as a reverb, or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a vinyl break. So I'm gonna head up to the settings cog and make sure that my stop time is around here, around the 10 p.m. mark. This will give me a nice vinyl break effect on that transifier, and then we can hit play on the other deck and get this completely transferred over. At 
And there we have it, the transifier. To exit the transifier, once you've activated it, you just need to hit the exit loop button in Serato or on your controller. Alternatively, you could enable another auto loop and exit again if that's easier. So this is a hidden Easter egg within Serato DJ Pro. You can also find it in Serato DJ Lite. In fact, this hack was actually in the original Scratch Live program all those years ago. So, get creative with this effect. Like I say, you can do vinyl breaks, echoes out, you can even stab your faders in and out. There's loads you can do with this effect. Let us know in the comments below how you plan on using it. If you've enjoyed this video and you've learned something new today, give this video a thumbs up, it really does help us out. Subscribe for more content just like this. Hit that bell icon so you're notified when we upload new videos. And I'll see you in another video sometime soon. Take care.